The 2020 presidential cycle is just beginning, and while much is yet to be determined, there seems to be consensus on one thing. Wisconsin will be an important player in 2020, perhaps one of five or six competitive states that will ultimately decide the election. In 2016, Donald Trump won Wisconsin by the narrowest of margins. So two years out, how is President Trump faring in the Badger State today? Last week's Marquette Law School poll gave the president and his supporters some news that had to be somewhat concerning. Trump's job approval, while a bit better here than in national polls, was underwater. 52% disapproved, 44% approved. When asked if the phrase, cares about people like me, described the president, 55% of voters said no, it didn't. Just 42% said it did. Did the word honest describe the president? 62% said no, it didn't. 31% said it did. So when asked if they would vote to re-elect Trump in 2020, the answer may not have been all that surprising. 39% said they would definitely or probably vote for Trump. 57% said they would definitely or probably vote for someone else. But as law school poll director Charles Franklin cautioned, the hypothetical someone else candidate almost always performs better against an incumbent. And there's something else Trump supporters are quick to note. Trump trailed in the polls in Wisconsin throughout 2016 until the one that mattered on Election Day. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Mike Goucher, and I'll see you again next week on Upfront. You can see today's program on our website. Just click on the Upfront section of WISN.com.